Okay, David. What are we gonna do today? Now we're gonna meet both Tim and Luca. Both of them have AMC and we're gonna take a walk and have dinner together. And Tim is gonna show how he works as a DJ mm -hmm. without using his hands. It'll be fun. Yep. The bodyguard. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you for being here. Today we had a really fun day. We had uh, visitors from Stockholm, Tim, and uh, also Luva came today again just to meet Tim as well. Tim has AMC as well, and he's 23 years old and went in a completely different career than I did. I went to law school, swimming and politics, but Tim studies to become an engineer and dedicates his life to music. Yes, uh, I'm studying to become an engineer in computer science and maths and also becoming a teacher in those subjects. And today you brought all your music stuff as well. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is just 5% uh, of uh, all the gear I use, but you know, just wanted to show you a bit of, of what I do. What is your DJ name? DJ Arthro. From Arthro Griposis, Multiplex Congenital. I think it's a cool name. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I had to choose a name when I was like 13 years old. And uh, I didn't want anything that I would feel would grow old or would, would change. So I wanted something that would always be with me, whether I liked it or not. And uh, that's I came up with the idea of having something from the diagnosis. So what, what's your dream? My dream is creative freedom. Uh, in music and in any project that I take on, I want to be able to give my ideas and, and thoughts into every project that I take on. I think that's great. And I'm really happy that you're here today as well. So we can uh, meet up, chat, do some training. We did some wheelchair training yeah, yeah. before today as well. <laughs> and also for me, it's quite a great advantage. Do you have some some knowledge that I haven't really been able to reach because that I'm younger. Yep. So you have a, a house and you have a family and, and which is uh, the next uh, for me in life. So seeing how that works and that stuff is, is quite a good inspiration. I just realized that you're 23 and I'm 46. So I'm <laughs> twice your age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> twice the experience and, and twice the wrinkles. <laughs> <That's how it laughs> Hopefully is. more than twice. <laughs> You're getting there, don't worry. Mm -hmm, definitely. And this is also a good example of everyone with AMC are different, look different and are unique. Um, we look pretty similar, but even so, our disabilities vary quite a bit mm. anyway. I can raise my arms a little bit. Yeah, I can throw them up, but I think you're able to, to hold them up way more. Uh, also, I saw earlier, you, can, you pull up your arm on the table to rest in a way that I don't. Uh, yeah. Uh, so it's quite a different way of using the arms, I think. Uh, yeah, but it's also, I think I have a bit more muscles in my legs as yeah. well, and a bit more movement in my legs. Um, but it makes me so happy that the, the wheelchair that I invented when I was about 16, 15, 16 years old, you can have a variation of that model and version as well, which yeah, you can yeah. modify to fit you and yeah. your needs. My, my father and I, uh, uh, stole the idea at quite a young age. Uh, <laughs> uh, at first, just as an exercising tool, but then it became my main vehicle, you could say, uh, to go on the trains and subways and transport from different locations. Uh, but then again, with the engineering degree, I have to make some modifications. So I've installed a, a brake and some other cool features on, on my bike. And I kept mine classical, uh, classic. I'm a conservative, as you know. <laughs> no, but, uh, but, but also I worry about too much technology on it because I worry that more things might break. Uh, do you remember when you had that, uh, was it called the E-wheel? Uh, the electric one uh, you had. On, on the back of it? Yeah, yeah. I still have it. Oh, you still have it. Yeah, I, I remember when you told me about it, uh, when it activated on your way into an elevator. Yep, <laughs> and the smell <laughs> in your yeah, yeah. And then we tried to, with, with the gaff tape, put that on my bike as well. Uh, and it went off before I even sat on it in 10 kilometers per hour right into the wall. Yep. I mean, not that kind of uh, engineering, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. But also that you managed to build your own version of my stool mm, that I yeah. invented uh, when I was very young. So it's really great to see that we can use all these variations to adapt to our own needs. It's yeah, perfect. yeah, definitely. There is no right and wrong. And I think it's okay to steal some ideas. I think so. Too. <laughs> and I know Luva has the same stool. You have to come here as well, Luva. Hello, boys. <laughs> <laughs> so after practicing um, 
all the music equipment that Tim brought. I think now it's time for Some the party. Music. All right, yeah. let's go. Mm. Ja. Det är någon som fattar. Ja. 